One day Sufyan bin Ibrahim saw Ibrahim. Bin Adam was sobbing on the side of the road, crying. Seeing this, Sufyan dared to ask Ibrahim, Why are you crying like that? But Ibrahim was silent. He didn't answer at all. The question was repeated again. After the third time, Ibrahim replied, I ask you to keep what happened to me secret and not to tell this to anyone else. After the third time, Ibrahim replied, I ask you to keep what happened to me secret and not to tell this to anyone else. Ibrahim then told the story that happened to him that he wanted to eat soup. It's been 30 years even holding back from eating soup. But last night she dreamed that a young man came and brought a green bowl filled with warm and fresh soup. But Ibrahim refused. Then the young man handed him the soup again and said, Oh, Ibrahim, eat this. I have not eaten anything that for 30 years I have not tasted because of God, replied Ibrahim. What do you think if the one who gives this food is God, S-W-T, asked the young man. The question made Ibrahim cry. Then the young man handed the soup back to Ibrahim and asked him to eat it. But Ibrahim then said, how can I eat something that has no clear origin? Then the young man replied, May God forgive you, O Ibrahim. In fact, this bowl containing the soup was a gift from Angel Ridwan, who ordered me to give it to you. This gift is in return for your patience in refraining from eating and lusting after all this time. I heard the angels say, Whoever is given something but refuses, then he is looking for something that will not be given. This explanation made Ibrahim accept it, saying, If that's the origin, I'll accept it, but this will not betray my agreement with God to Allah. After that, Ibrahim saw another young man reaching out his hand to the young man and saying, O oh, Kadir, give him this soup. So the young man named Kadir then fed Ibrahim until he woke up from his sleep. The delicacy of the delicious hot shoulder soup was felt by Ibrahim when he got up from his sleep. Then Ibrahim went to the Zamzam well and gargled his mouth. But the delicious and delicious smell of the food still smells from the mouth. Hearing this story, Sufyan asked Ibrahim to bring his mouth closer. It turned out that Sufyan still smelled the aroma of the soup, 